Hello, I'm Tom Krakow, I'm one of the members of Path from Evangelism team. Today I'm going to show you how you can actually build your own multicasting application. What does it mean? Multicast is the new feature of uh, Flash Player 10.1 and it's actually, uh, what it actually does is that it enables you to stream over peer-to-peer -peer networks so it, you can save a lot of money using it. What you have to do is uh, that you have to go to Stratus page and sign up for a Labs uh, beta developer key for Stratus. Once you get it, I already got it here. You can go to Flash Builder and uh, actually prepare your application. The thing is that uh, it can look whatever you want, but uh, it should include some video and uh, this is pretty uh, like obvious, you know, we are going to work with camera and video, so uh, just include there some video, you can do it like this. So the next thing you actually have to do is uh, pass this developer key here. Okay, now we are ready to go. So we begin with connecting to the straight service. Uh, so again, function called connect. And uh, we just create uh, Net connection of the type net connection, and also um, we create stream, which is going to be net stream type. So uh, one of the applications is going to be broadcaster, and another application is going to be receiver. So from one application, you will be able to broadcast to the group of participants. So we initialize that connection. We also add event listener of uh, net status event. We call it net status. We create the function, function handler here. And it's gonna catch the net status event. Like that. So once we are here, we can also write this status to the field we have already prepared. So in event info code like that. And finally, we connect to the server. So we just write net connection connect. And uh, we include the server and dev key. When we are successfully connected to the server, which we find out here, so in case net connection connect success, we can set up the stream. So again, what we have to do here is that we have to do two things. One of them is setting up group specifier, which is a instance and uh, which is actually class defining what is going to happen in the group. And second one, we have to do this net stream where we actually broadcast the stream itself. So we create function, set up stream. And as, I, as I mentioned, uh, we do this group spec instance of group specifier. Yeah, we don't have it here. So what we have to do now is that we go to multicast uh, properties and flex compiler and use a specific version because we are not compiling the application for 10.0, but for 10.1, which is the new player and has the possibility of uh, multicasting. So once the Flex uh, compiler gets updated, we just uh, we can already see we have group specifier here. We create new instance of it. We name it, for instance, like my group. Let's say multicast one. And we also uh, define two other things. So server channel enabled is something which is pretty essential for this and also uh, multicast enabled which enables the multicast over the net group. Then we have to create, a, then we have to use this uh, stream variable. So we create new net stream and uh, we pass net connection as a first parameter and the second parameter is going to be 
actually the ID of the group, so group spec and group spec with authorizations. The difference between with authorizations and uh, without authorizations is just a matter of um, of the policy of the security you have uh, inside a group. You don't have to care about this to make it work, in, but maybe in the future it might be very, very useful for you. Stream at event listener so we can actually see what's going on there and uh, we pass that status. So what we have to do now is uh, we have to initialize camera object and uh, once we have this camera object ready, we can show the video which we are actually broadcasting uh, in this broadcast application and then we attach this camera to the net stream itself and then we just publish it. So we create variable cam, camera, camera get, get camera and uh, we, yeah, we don't have to pass anything here and we also, uh, we only do one thing which is stream attach camera and also stream publish and we call it for instance multicast, it doesn't matter what you call it, it's just up to you. We are not going to include microphone even if we can, it's up to you how you just uh, provide all, all the data for the stream. So um, the next thing we also have to do here is attach the camera to the video object so we can actually see if everything works. So now we have the broadcast ready. What we have to do now is to actually create receiver for this bro uh, for, for the stream which we are broadcasting to the net group. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go to file, new and MXML application and create application called receiver. Which is going to be totally same as the broadcaster only with only one, one little change. So just copy and paste the whole code and uh, we get this camera off, we change uh, publish to play and we also uh, get this attach camera off and uh, we actually attach netstream instead of attaching camera to the video object. And that's the whole change you have to do to have the application for receiving the stream. So now what we can do is uh, launch the broadcaster and see if it works. So now it's connecting. Now you can see that uh, the broadcaster is actually sending the stream to the receiver. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want, you can follow my blog on flashrealtime.com or follow me on twitter.com slash tomkrcha. Thank you very much.